Hello everyone, my name is Hao Ye Wang. My topic today is uh, automatic solution summarization for crash bugs. Software crashes are serious software defect problem. However, as the complexity of a software system increases, the reasons for software crashes become ever more complicated. Developers often need a lot of time to fix the problem. Although many bugs are recurring, it is hard to find solutions. Let's see an example. For the crash traces above, we refer to red part as crash reasons and the blue part as stack frames. There are two straightforward solutions. Typically, developers will organize their questions about a crash into a query to the search engines. However, for a large crash trace soon by a program, it is often difficult for a developer to summarize this crash trace into a query. Another solution is that developers will try to directly use the crash reasons as a query of search engines due to the limitations of input length. However, this method will miss a lot of important information in stack frames and the result may not be accurate enough. To make matters worse, there is much noisy and uh, redundant information in the returned posts, and the developers need to spend a lot of time to digest and find the right solution. An automated approach considering both crash reasons and the stack frames to provide solutions to a crash trace will help developers solve crash bugs more efficiently. However, there is no such approach designed to produce solutions for crash bugs. There are several challenges. The first one is the crash trace may share no lexical units with an answer and the information they convey may be totally different. The second one is that two different uh, crash bugs may share many identical tokens in different positions of their crash traces if the program rely on some common packages. Thus, traditional information uh, retrieval methods will bring bias and not work very well. The third one is that some crash traces on QSX may be incomplete, as the questioner only pastes the crash reason and describes the crash in short. To address this, we propose crash over that takes a crash trace as input and then returns as solution summary for the bug. Our approach has three stages. The first stage is pre-processing and the preparation. We use beautiful soap and the regular expressions to extract all questions with crash traces based on heuristics offline. We need to prepare the following materials to support our approach. The first one is crash trace index. Crossover utilizes this index to initially filter out a relevant question set. The second one is the exception dictionary. It is used to determine the concept of what the crash trace is about. Then, the language model. It is used to measure the similarity between a stack of a post and an exception description from official documentation. The second stage is the relevant question retrieval. We first extract the crash reason and the stack frames. Then, we use the crash reason to find the relevant question set. Uh, via crash trace index. The position dependent similarity and the extra knowledge similarity are then used to measure the similarity between our crash trace and the relevant question posts. The third uh, stage is the solution generation. We use MMR based paragraph selection and the grammatical dependent analysis uh, to filter and the source the uh, sentence we need. We keep only sentences that have a verb uh, phrase followed by a noun and have a noun phrase followed by a verb phrase. The other sentences are filtered out and then crashed over outputs the final solution to the users. Then we introduce the similarity metrics we used in our approach. We borrow the insights from another paper. The frame that uh, causes the bug most likely occur uh, near the top of the uh, core stack and the alignment offset between two 
matched functions in two similar call stacks is likely to be small. So we recall the call stack's position in the entire uh, crash trace and the distance of every function to the top of its belonging call stack. We will use the position information to modify the weights of each token when calculating the similarity. To understand what the crash trace about, we introduce extra knowledge sourced from official documentation. Given a crash trace and the relevant question set, Crossover transforms the corresponding description from official documentation of the crash trace and the title of a relevant question into two bag of words. We use IDF weighted word embedding vector to represent a document. Then the extra knowledge similarity is able to be calculated. Then we introduce the experimental setup that we follow to evaluate the performance of our crossover. We compare our approach with four baseline. The first is the answer boot uh, from ASC 2017 and the core cage from ICPC 2019. We also use Google search engine and the stack of search engine as baseline too. Uh, for this approach are not designed for crash trace and all have limitation. So we use the crash reason as input. For the baselines based on search engine, we use the answer that is accepted or have the highest vote. We download the official data dump of Stack Overflow uh, and uh, extract the, the Java and the Android questions. In order to evaluate a crash server, we randomly select uh, 50 Java questions and 50 Android questions where there are crash traces attached and make sure there are not duplicated uh, questions in our corpus. The choice of volunteers and the task allocation are not detailed. Please refer to our paper. The first research question is how does crossover perform compared to other approaches? The table presents the mean of relevance, usefulness, and diversity scores, and the box plots the scores of each solution from different approaches. The baseline built on Google is the best in all three aspects besides our crossover method. On average, crossover outperforms the baseline built on Google by 25.4%, 28.7%, and 57%. Point six percent in terms of relevance, usefulness, and diversity. We can see that crossover significantly outperforms other approaches for both Java and Android crash traces. The second research question is: What impact does each of the proposed metrics have in our crossover approach? Since we introduce position-dependent similarity and extra knowledge similarity to improve the quality or the final generated solution. We are interested in the performance of our approach when using each similarity metric individually. We observe that Cryosol performs significantly better than using each similarity metric individually on both Java test crashes and the Android test crashes. In order to generate high quality solutions, Crossover must first narrow down the search scope to find the stack overflow questions related to the given crash trace. Whether the retrieval questions are relevant to the given crash trace will greatly affect the quality of the final solution. So here we investigate that how effective is Crossover's relevant question retrieval component for crash traces. From the table, we can see that the relevant question retrieval component of crossover significantly outperforms other baselines in terms of top one MR and MAP for both test datasets. And almost all the metrics of our method are close to 1.0. The results indicate the effectiveness of the relevant question retrieval component and the superior performance of this component further improve the quality of our final generated solutions. As a conclusion in this paper, we propose to cross over to automatically generate possible solutions summarized from a given crash trace. Uh, in the future, we plan to integrate crossover into an IDE 
We also plan to extend our approach to support more programming languages. We will make the code open source. That's all. Thank you. And we are live. Hello. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Brandon from Eindhoven University of Technology. I am chairing this session. Uh, and it's a great pleasure for me to introduce Hao Ye Wang, uh, who will be um, answering your questions about uh, their work on automatic solution summarization for crash bugs. And that we already have a couple of questions in the chat. <laughs> So, Chao okay. Ni congratulates you on uh, a very nice work uh, and says, says that uh, it seems that there are four baselines. Uh, but how do you construct those baselines? Two of them seem to be not in particular. Can you please explain? Okay. Uh, thanks for your question. Uh, until now, because there are no approaches designed for crash bugs, uh, and uh, so we we need to do a little change. Uh, for the baselines, uh, uh, based on search engines like uh, Google and uh, Stack Overflow, we use the content of uh, crash reasons as input, because the limitation of input has yes, and uh, for the answer put, we directly use the source code. Uh, published, and we made some changes to, to the source code for a problem. And the import of answer bot is replaced by the crash trace. So we use the total, all the crash trace as input. And for the query code, the author of this paper only published an external interface. So we, we, uh, can only use it like a search engine. We only take the uh, crash reasons uh, of the crash trace as input because they, it also have the limitation of input length. Uh, we plan to uh, change the, we plan to uh, implement the crockage by our own for the future and, uh, comp and complete uh, with our approach. Yes, I'm not sure if I answer the questions. Thank you. For answering the question. Uh, so we also have a question from Bo Yang. I also congratulate you on doing great work on this paper and uh, asks why did you choose a maximal margin algorithm to generate the final solution? Uh, good point, because uh, actually uh, the quality of uh, solution generated by uh, maximum marginal relevance algorithm is not uh, quite good. Uh, however, this algorithm have two advantages. Uh, the first one is that MMR algorithm can uh, keep the original statement. So the sentence may be uh, more smooth and uh, semantic fluent. And the second one is uh, because it is easy to implement uh, and uh, it runs fast. So of, uh, we choose the MMR algorithm. Of course, we will introduce some uh, more advantage, advanced uh, technology in the future to, to improve the effect of the summary we generated. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much for answering this question. So we get from Sweetheart from Alaconda, who says that crashes are also captured using screenshots, uh, and those can be used in questions on stacker flow or post. Uh, does your approach also consider those images? And uh, how do you set them? Mm. It's an interesting question. Uh, our approach uh, uh, not uh, not consider the image and the process them, um, but uh, we think it's uh, it is uh, uh, possible to implement uh, to catch the screenshot, uh, catch the crash in, uh, of screenshot in the future. We can uh, there are some technique technique about the uh, to extract the crash trace from from some imaging. I think. Thank you. Great. 
Great. So you see, right? Maybe in the next next year, you will present a similar yes. work on uh, <laughs> include additional sources of data. We have also have a question from Yuan Rui Fan. Uh, also, congratulate your talk and wonders how do you find those crash related problems from all the stack overflow problems? Uh, we use the official data dump and uh, we manually checked uh, a large number of questions. And we found uh, that uh, these uh, uh, questions about uh, exception have some uh, some common strings like uh, cost by, exception in, and uh, the crash trace are often highlighted with uh, some HTML tag like uh, like code and uh, black quote. Uh, then we use the uh, uh, beautiful soap and uh, and some regular expressions to extract these questions. We do this offline and uh, use the data 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 set to. Uh, to search the best uh, uh, questions matched uh, for for online using, yes. Great. So your the examples you have uh, <coughs> been showing were coming from Java, and Chao Ni also wonders towards other programming languages such as Python. Uh, currently, we we only use uh, collect the. Uh, questions tagged with Java and Android, so so our approach only support Java uh, based uh, programming language right now. But I think uh, uh, the crash logs in some other language like uh, Python or C sharp they also have a structure similar to the Java. Uh, so we think it is not difficult for our approach to support other language. The, the same approach can be um, used and uh, to uh, praise the praise the uh, stack. Right. Um, so what you are trying to do, you are trying to uh, find answer for questions, global specific kind of questions about we also have seen uh, a talk uh, earlier during the session um deep ans so this was the first talk in the session right um okay. so i was kind of wondering how uh, your approach compare to uh, more general approaches to q and a side answer such as deep ans uh, i think their uh, approach maybe use the uh, Quero, like a, like a summarization of the crash bug. For example, uh, the the program uh, threw a bug about uh, a memory out of out of memory. So so they are approaching maybe take a query like uh, uh, if I if our program our program have uh, out of memory problem, how what can I do like this query? But our approach uh, takes a Cross trace directly as the input, and uh, the information uh, contained in crash trace and the crash reason may help uh, our approach to uh, get uh, to retrieve the relevant questions uh, more accurately. And uh, and our approach and the uh, position dependent uh, similarity and our extra knowledge similarity may help uh, help our approach understand the crash trace. So I think our approach may be more efficiently uh, and uh, is specifically designed for the crash trace and it is more accurately. Right, so I understand correctly, you are saying that knowing that what you have is not just a piece of text, but the crash trace allows you to extract more information or information in a better way. And then this is why you expect your answers to be yeah. great, great, great job. Uh, I'm uh, very glad to um, having had you and this session. Uh, do you plan to implement this crash uh, tool uh, as part of the Stack Overflow workflow, like some kind of? Yes, I think. Uh...
Okay, it doesn't matter. We are almost uh, running out of time. Oh, okay. so